Hello. Uh, a quick um, a quick video to thank you so much for all the uh, very interesting comments that um, you've been leaving on my um, YouTube site over the last few weeks, and uh, I thought I, I thought it would be a good idea once again to pick up a few of these comments and uh, comment myself on them. Some of them are lovely, uh, some of them are perhaps not so lovely, but please keep them coming. Um, you know, even even the slightly, what should we say, challenging comments um, are worth a giggle, um, if not necessarily for me, then for others. And I think that would be, uh, that 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 is commendable, and I take it in the spirit in which it's intended. Um, I was so, I was so impressed with a, with a comment made by Stephen Guppy, who says that he has a friend whom I've known all my life, he says. She is a delightful lady who quite happily lives her life in 2022 with neither a mobile phone nor internet access. We speak regularly on her steam-powered landline phone and once a month I write to her a comprehensive letter, usually uh, stretching to some 12 to 14 sides of A4, which she enjoys reading, uh, receiving and reading. I find the process of letter writing therapeutic in a way and it is now the only time I write anything of length by hand. Um, well, congratulations. I think it's a very good thing. Um, writing things by hand is always good. I'm afraid my handwriting has degenerated over the last 20 years, um, but I still do write a lot by hand. Um, but uh, th th this was in response to a piece about writing letters. Um, there's another one I've done about um, Isium uh, and Mr. Zelensky in Isium. And um, there's a slightly scurrilous piece here from Richard Oliver, uh, who says quite rightly, the first casualty of war is truth. Um, according, however, to a recent report by the Washington Post, hardly a Kremlin mouthpiece, the Ukraine forces have suffered very heavy casualties in their offensive and are likely to find themselves stretched in coming weeks. Ukraine is large, Russia is enormous. An area half the size of Wales doesn't really amount to much in this context. I read somewhere that Zelensky now owns a sizable mansion in Florida. How? Why? I don't know where you read that. I've never read that, but um, I am intrigued and interested. I'd like more information. So if anybody knows more about that, please get in touch. Uh, and um, as for the o Oxford comma and um, uh, the... Uh, they're using the double negative in order to say something positive. Um, I, 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 the comments on that are simply staggering. Many people um, not approving of my disapproval of the negative uh, of the Oxford comma. Is that a double negative? Um, but uh, um, one person, Sheila Roddick, um, has uh, has said, uh, "Release the report." What report? And stop playing for time, you excuse for a human being. <laughs> I didn't know teaching grammar was your second job, as you can't do your first job very well. Um, I don't know whether she's writing to me or to Therese Kofi, um, but um, just assuming she's writing to me, I, I thought it might be of use to say that um, until very recently I was head of English in a school um, with which I still have contacts. And, um, and and I'm still doing quite a lot of teaching. So um, the comma and the double negative are very much aspects of my first job. Um, I uh, though that said, I've never quite I've never quite regarded teaching as my primary job. Uh, I've always regarded regarded entertainment as my primary job, and uh, and I hope my students uh, see me in that light. Uh, teaching is just one aspect of entertainment um and uh so, so many delightful points i this this one from walt g says i bet she would have been okay with it if it had been called an etonian comma in my understanding the oxford comma is actually the harvard comma and i don't quite know when it became uh is an essential in um british punctuation but it is now taught um, in primary schools, and it is part of the syllabus for primary school teaching. And uh, th this is extraordinary, given the fact that it is it is not an agreed piece of punctuation. It is an egregious piece of punctuation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but 
So I, 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 I love the Oxford comma in some ways because it causes so much um, uh, discussion. And if people are discussing punctuation, then they're thinking about it, and that cannot be a bad thing. There's a double negative for you.